Hello from the London Stadium and the weather gods have been kind to us. It's a sunny day in this part of the English capital. I'm Derek Ray and with me here on the commentary position is Lee Dixon. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's West Ham United up against Aston Villa. Yeah, thanks Derek. Both teams will no doubt be looking for a quick start. So important to get focus from the off. Really looking forward to this. Hopefully it won't disappoint. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. The experienced Lukas Fabianski stands between the posts. Fabian Balbuena plays with Angelo Ogbonna in central defence. And the striker of choice is the powerful and lethal Sebastian Allaire. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. This particular setup is becoming more and more in favour. Yes, Derek, one central striker, two wingers who will provide the width, a very narrow three in midfield, a back four, the two full backs will be expected to support, but also defend and help out the centre backs. Enjoy the game. We're ready for what we hope will be a tremendous match, and it's West Ham United with a kickoff. Suchek. Declan Rice. Pablo Fornals with it. Rice. Suchek. In possession, Bowen. Keeping it moving dynamically. And a goal! An early boost for them. The first goal of the game. They're off and running. Well, here's the replay. It's a great ball into the danger area. But if a player can stand still and nod the ball into the net like that, I'll be asking serious questions about my centre-backs. Shocking, really. Well, the coach has to be happy with that. Got their noses in front. Still work to be done, though. Back playing again. West Ham with the advantage. Grealish. Matt Target. Connor Hurahan. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. Matt Target. Here's Hurahan. That's excellent defending following the cross. It's a short corner. That's well blocked. So the corner played into the box. No shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited. Well, here's the replay, and it's a dangerous set piece into the box. And finishing like that with a lovely headed goal is absolutely superb. So, a level contest, 1-1. One, one. Vladimir Kufal. Well, strong play here. Connor Hurahan. And the counter looks on here, options available.
Esri Konsa. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. And he saw the situation developing. Jared Bowen. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. And he cuts inside. Tremendous block. Grealish. Matt Target. Watkins. Untidy on the ball. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Is this the moment? And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage. Well, Derek, as we see here, this is why I wasn't a forward. He passes this ball into net, uses all that finesse he's got. I just didn't have it. I'd have put my laces straight through that ball, but what a finish. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. Grealish. And a throw-in forthcoming. West Ham possession stats are not great, but again, we've seen it before, we'll see it again. Their counter-attack play has been absolutely fantastic. Pace really hurts defences, and they've got that in abundance. Sebastian Allaire. Well, is it going to end up being productive for them? Foiling them effectively. Ollie Watkins. John McGinn. And Cash with it. And unable to keep the ball. Suchek. Beautifully weighted ball. Allaire. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Matt Target. It's with Douglas Luis. Target with it. Watkins. And so it is, the first half story has been written. You've certainly got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Lee. Well, Derek, you're right, he has played well and goals win games. He's been a joy to watch in this form. Sit back and enjoy him in the second half. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. McGinn. It's with Douglas Luis. Here's Matty Cash. Connor Hurahan. Douglas Luis. Well, that's the kind of player you want from your defender. There to win it back. Difficult to stop him. Can they get in behind them? And whipped into the box. And clears his lines. Connor Hurahan. And a goal kick given.
Aaron Cresswell. Sebastian Allaire. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. And the ball with Allaire. Not showing good patience. Sebastian Allaire. Pablo Fornals. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. And the referee has given the corner. So maybe scope here for them to add to their lead. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. And firing it into the area. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner. And then it's a good headed finish, to be fair. Keeper, no chance. Lovely goal. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Aston Villa, possession, tick that box. But after that, it's been really disappointing. Players are looking at each other. You've got to take control, you've got to take responsibility yourself. Make something happen in this game. Sebastian Allaire. On the ball, Matsuaku. So a throw in here. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Marvellous Nakamba. Tyrone Mings. McGinn. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Unable to keep the ball. Fifteen minutes remaining. And given away. And intercepts again. Sustained pressure and they have the ball now. Sebastian Allaire. Declan Rice. Keeping the ball moving. Rice with it. Aaron Cresswell. Pablo Fornals with it. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Firing it towards goal. Terrific block there. And that puts them in position. Chance Traore. Not finished yet. Not quite yet. Still excitement left in the game. Well, as we look at this again, the keeper's every right to ask where his back line was, but 2v1 in the end, he's thinking now, is he going to pass or go around me? He's got no chance. Well, neutrals are getting their money's worth. 3-2 in this match. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. And just the one minute left in normal time here. Masuaku. The final whistle and the big story here, West Ham win. They get maximum points, Lee. Yeah, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends. But well, they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result. Well, his performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Lee.
Well, he never gave that back line a chance to get a breath. Two goals for the lad today. Played superbly well, looked really sharp. Constantly playing on the shoulder of the last defender. A real handful.